going on guys I'm about to show you how to bleed out your radiator sometimes if you change out your um, radiator change out your thermostat or have to replace a hose or something what you'll need to do is actually bleed your radiator to get all the air out of the system this happens to be a Chevy Impala the 3-4 engine and on this one you actually have two bleed screws you just like how you have on your brakes you have one right here which you will unloosen which what you'll need to unloosen it is a size 7. You only want to loosen up the top of it. There's also a spot at the bottom to take the whole thing gap, but just do the top. And also on this model, you'll have another bleed screw that's actually right on the other side by your your upper radiator hose. That'll be right here is another bleed screw. So what you're going to want to do is actually unloosen both of these bleed screws then go ahead and put your fluid in with the screws open that way the air inside of it will come out so i'm about to do that now all right i'm, I'm loosening the first bleed screw with a size what i'm using for this one is a size seven you just want to loosen the top of it up kind of turn it to have it loose and then you're going to come over to the other side where this other bleed screw is at over here right here and loosen that one also with the same size 7 and once you have those loosened now what you want to do is actually start putting your radiator fluid inside of your radiator until you see until you see the fluid starting to come out sometimes you may not see it on some you also want to turn your your climate control in the inside of your vehicle to hot to make sure it just turns to hot then you'll be able to start it later but you just want to basically fill it up with those two screws open until you see fluid coming out and if you don't see fluid coming out you could bleed a different way by filling it up and then starting up your vehicle and open up your bleed screws Okay, this one's basically four. If you could come over here, you can see on this side the fluid. Just watch that one. You'll see fluid starting to come out around the edges. Yeah, you'll see that fluid starting to come out around. It tells you that the air is out of that system. And once you see that, next thing what you want to do is go ahead and tighten that side back up so now I'm going to tighten this one up yeah just tighten that screw you might want to do it first with your hand so I'm going to get it kind of tight and then tighten it the rest of the way up and once you got that one tight what you could do now is is actually start your vehicle up with the heater turned to hot and watch this one and watch the other one over here until you see fluid start to come. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to start the vehicle up now. We're leaving this open. this one open you'll be able to see the fluid coming out that tells you that the air is coming out the system so, so now what you want to do is go ahead and tighten this side too where you see a steady stream like that coming out go ahead and make sure you have it turned to heat in the inside go ahead and tighten this side back up and next go ahead and finish filling up and next go ahead and finish filling up your radiator itself with fluid until it's full you may want to come back later and double check it to make sure that it's all the way full because as your thermostat opens up it'll make more fluid go into your engine block and you may need a little bit more all right, folks, once again, this is how you would bleed the air out of your radiator using your bleed screws 
This happens to be a, a, a Chevy Impala with two bleed screws. Some will have one, some will have two. All right, thanks.